that house is huge. That lady really knew how to live. It's like the Chateau de... How did she get so rich if she was just like a communications person or whatever in the military? I think I said when we got here, her family like owned part of the island or something. I think she just inherited a lot, honestly. like vacation slides or something. Huh. Ren, you were right. There's like a ledger here. The Adler family does own the island. And here's a combination for a padlock to a chest is all it says. 29, 18, 54. A chest? Have you seen one yet? Let's just look. It'll probably just be more, whatever, banking files or something, but maybe we'll get lucky. She made a lot of, what should I call these, slides? They're, they're not videos. Um, silent memories? crazy it's not it wasn't with maggie's stuff back at the office like with the radio how would we know you're the one that went huh well uh what's plan b if we can't find well, let's say we find the keys does anyone even know how to drive this thing anyway yeah you just pull the thing and steer the the doohickey oh i am very impressed she has to have keys somewhere maybe they're inside that's as good a guess as any Sometimes when I lock myself out of my house, I'll just... I can't help but just stare at the deadbolt trying to, like, hypnotize it to open or something. You ever do that? Um, not really. But we can try that now if you think it'll help. sure to love her antiquated security. That is a nifty gizmo. Finally. Carissa, oh, God, Jesus. you scared me. thought you were like Maggie Adler's dead body or something. How do you get in here? The door was locked. Do you have, like, a radio? No, I don't have a radio. The kitchen window was open. Kitchen window? Where? In the back. In the kitchen. Okay, sure. Look, Cloris is here, so everyone's here now. We can just... Everyone's okay, all right? That's a good thing. Yeah, let's just find the keys to the boat or a phone or whatever and just find a way home. I promise, we can all keep talking and or fighting at school on Monday. Fine, okay, let's focus up. Everybody find something and hope that it helps. How are you doing? How are you doing? I think about as bad as everybody else right now. I feel like I've been run over with a truck with acid wheels, if that makes sense. Yeah, that's pretty much been the slogan of the night. We'll make shirts when we get home. Man, she owned enough books. It's mostly math, I think. Ergodic thermodynamics and religion. Sheesh, there's okay, a Okay, of... we get it. She liked the smell of paper. Fascinating insight. We'll all miss her dearly. Okay, why don't you get off your ass and help then? I am helping by keeping out of the way of more enterprising sorts like yourself. Ugh. Ah, <sighs> it's been disconnected. Bummer. Oh, 
That's an attic? Thought it was like a cat's toy or something. Attics are always a little haunted house spooky, right? It's the tight spaces, the darkness, the spiders, the creaking, and... Well, I'm actually that about covers it. seen this? It's like a, a star map or a diagram of planets or something. Yeah, why would she need anything like a map of the universe? I mean, it's not like she's bouncing stuff off satellites for a job. Well, she was an amateur astronomer, probably. <laughs> what, like she cared if you were a Scorpio or something? I thought that stuff was after her time. Huh, yeah. Yeah, exactly right. Oh, it's a, it's a draft of her letter that she left in the office. To whom it should concern. She left notes everywhere, she said. Hidden with secret signals. She was an odd one, I'll give her that. But, you know, cool in a way. Maybe she was up to something, you ever think of that? I mean, she's wrapped up in this thing somehow. Maybe, but also things don't have to make sense. Sometimes stuff just happens, and that's the end of it. might be the, um, the chest that takes that combination. 29, 18, 54. It's a lot of radios and those containers we saw at the town office. Oh, and like a map of the caverns. She's written here, tune into the source. What do you think that means? She couldn't have known about the ghosts, right? I don't know, something about ELF transmitters or the submarine's ways of communicating... Um, you can just say you don't know. That's okay. Is this... Ah, the boat keys. Got them. Let's blow this pop stand. Oh, I just got that. Popsicle stand. It does make sense. All right, we got keys for the boat. Where? Jonas found them in a chest upstairs. So, say thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I was just saying it. It's not directed at you or anything. Okay. Alex. Oh, Alex. Come down here, please. We have something we want to show you. Clarissa, what's going on? You're confused, aren't you? Well, you should be. How does it go? Things are different, except in a different way. <laughs> just come downstairs so we can get started. <laughs> Nona, come on, honey. It's time to motor. Radiation. There is, of course, a problem here. So, 
standing in the living room just now, was it? Ugh. Ah, no. But 
but I wish it was a dream. Usually there's a lot more talking horses. Oh, and by the way, next time, put some actual effort into the game, pretty please. It felt like someone was shoving spiders down my throat. Yeah. I'm sorry, all right? I, I tried my best. I mean, when things are jumping all around, it's tough to even know what she was talking about. So, I mean, Christ, if Clarissa was whisked away to the cave by nuclear submarine monsters, then, I mean, the plan has to be to retrieve her, right? I'm still going to call them ghosts, if that's okay. A ghost is a monster. Marissa is only like one slice of the problem. We're all infected or whatever, so we need to rip the issue off like a bandage all at once. Okay, great, yeah, but how do we do that? Well, uh, good question. Maggie, ah, I think Maggie Adler might have had some sort of a plan or a, a scheme or something to fix what's going on. What possible plan could Maggie Adler have? First of all, she's dead. And second of all, she was like the island Mother Goose. She wrote in her journal or something or other about tuning into the source of the problem in the cave. And I think she was talking about the ghosts. Well, if we're going to the cave... Oh, actually, I forgot. I saw the entrance has been caved in since you guys went inside. All right. I know there are a whole bunch of secret communist bomb-fearing tunnels dug into this place during the 1950s. And Maggie has loads of film about military stuff in her basement, so... Maybe there's a way back into the cave through one of those, you're thinking? Let's take a look. What kind of name is a Fippany Fields anyway? Wait, is it a Fippany? It's, uh... Moving on. That film's really flammable. Wouldn't want Smoke and Johnny to light the house on fire. Ha ha. All right, there's already something in here. Experiments and findings of experienced phenomena, January 52. Awesome. Oh, man. If this turns out to be just prehistoric home videos, yeah. I'm sure this God, is... it's just the first thing. Just give it a second to warm up, will you? Okay, we're getting warmer, I think. So, if you look at the, like, lines or whatever, the bomb shelter should lead right into the cave, just like from another angle. According to this, at least. Oh, so it does. But won't it be, like, locked or something, right? Yeah, how do we get in? It's just like the cave wall, only steel or whatever bomb shelters are made out of. All right, well, keep going. Maybe there's something else. On to the next one, Alex. Oh, what? She knew about these things? Wow, that's crazy. It says that to fix a temporal tear, that's a mouthful, in the cave, we would need to transpose to the other side and tune into the source within itself. Okay, but we're not doing that, right? Good question. Yeah, that's, that's going a little above, above and beyond. Well, I don't know what to tell you, but strap in, boys and girls, because we might have to, okay? If it's the only thing that will fix us. Yeah, but that's, like, scary. Well, something better work. Or we're boned. Or we're boned. Precisely. Oh, sorry, this is like, this looks like the end, but from the, from the wrong film thing. No, 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 wait. This is something I actually remember from that stupid radio tour thing, because it, like, sounded so weird. It's called the call and response system. It unlocks the bomb shelter. This is showing us how to do it. See, it says when someone sends an emergency signal from the catbird station in the woods and the receiving station confirms it. It's like a connected response thing. All right, but come on, Nona, do you honestly believe that the old equipment in either building will still work? It's, I don't know, but it's the only thing we have so far. And time's a clicking. Alex and me will head through the woods, do the, um, call part. You and Ren can hang by the door to the bomb shelter and open it when it's ready. Can we just... 
I mean, can we just, like, think this plan through for, like, one minute before running off half-cocked? <laughs> Everyone heard that, right? <sighs> yeah. Like, how will we know how to work the whatever, the apparatus, the signal machines when we get there? We can, um, improvise? Yeah, and there's usually some instructions with little cartoon people on it for the dumb and illiterate. And if anything goes wrong, please, don't tell me, I won't want to know. Well, now I'm going to run over there and specifically tell you at the first drop of bad news. No!